Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, please leave your opinions in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. It's counterproductive. Mark Knox Apabio Abaz over 152 Senate committees. David Mack, a former Senate president, has criticized the large number of committees in the National Assembly. Newsroom Nigeria reports that the National Assembly, under Senate President Gotu Apabio and Speaker Tajuddin Abaz, recently announced chairman of 152 committees for both chambers. The Senate has 71 special and standing committees, while the House of Representatives has 81. Mark stressed that having too many committees would make it difficult for lawmakers to function efficiently. Speaking at a retreat for President for pardon me for principal officers of the tenth national assembly during the weekend mark said creating many committees for patronage and political expediency is counterproductive he noted that a situation where a lawmaker is allowed to serve in six committees was unwise as he or she will not be able to participate effectively or efficiently in the committee assignments. Mark, who served as president of the 6th and 7th Senate, said the total of 71 committees, 8 plus 63 in the Senate and 81 committees, 7 plus 74 in the House of Representatives, in my opinion, is on weedy. You must understand that not every senator or House member can be a chairman of a committee. A ranking member of a committee is as effective and influential as a chairman of a committee. Creating so many committees for patronage and political expediency is counterproductive. In constituting the committee, it will be advisable to ensure expertise, party spread, geographical balancing, and ranking. I must emphasize the issue of ranking. It is very important in the legislature. Hey. Hmm. Wahala. <laughs> when the tussle for the uh, the House of Representative leadership and the Senate president began, I knew right from then, right from there, I knew then and there that <laughs> it is going to be something else. It is going to be something else because the way and manner in which these people were <laughs> trying to patronize especially the new uh, legislatures, the new senators and legislatures, also representatives member. It was, it was tough. <laughs> it was tough. After doing all of that and after promising different positions to various people, if you vote for me, I'll give you this. If you vote for me, I'll give you that. And those people that, you know, they gave dollars, those people who, who got their pay in dollars, some who even got free hotel stay and all of that. Now, it is time to share the major key positions in the, in the Senate and House of Representatives. And these people, have, have, they have now entirely turned it into a political affair being that they've already promised all the important positions to a lot of people now they have to reward them 
Because in politics, you do not just open your mouth and promise what you cannot give. Now they have to give those positions to these people, which is why they now created so many committees, so many committees that, that, that do not even need to create, so many. Now some, some, some of the senators are in four different committees, some are three different committees. Please, how are they even going to function effectively? How are they going to function effectively when they are not even allowed to, to you know, work well? You know, you, you have given them different positions. How are they going to function effectively is the question now. I am glad that David Mack has said to them that, look, you people, you people are deceiving yourself. You are deceiving yourself because this is counterproductive. There's no way they can be productive in these committees. There's no way they can function adequately in these committees when you have senators who are in four different committees at the same time. Like how? How? And the money saved that is going to be expanded on these committees. It's just wasted your resources at the end of the day. Wastes. Wastes. And this and this uh, tenth house of uh, as assembly, they have broken the record. Even the number of aides that they employ is safe <laughs> is shattering. The numbers of aides, I think the numbers of aides is running to like, uh, if I'm not mistaken, no, I think three thousand or so. That these people recruited, just wastage of money, wastage of national resources because. I don't know, all in the name of compensating people that they already promised positions to. Now, what? Hmm. Now, this one a real wahala. This one I say call wahala. This one the real one, the real wahala. Before we go, my people, let's take a look at some of the reactions we got online. Ajite says, government of settlement, almost 15 ministers. What do you expect? God will save us from all this government of sorry as in government of, this one a real government of settlement using position to settle people using position to how do you expect them to function effectively and adequately even people that you don't even need to to make a committee chairman they are committee chairman how are they going to function where is the iq to function iq no day dear so what are they just figure it they are there for figure it hmm. may god help us Another person says, Ali Ochemi says, the legislature is a very unique, is very unique, aside from other arms of government. Anybody can be made CEO in the executive arm and he will succeed with directors advising him. But a legislator needs experience to be able to function and emphasis should be more on ranking them ranking pardon me than struggling to be committee chair so the elder statesman is very correct regardless of sentiment sentiment it's very correct too it's correct my people but you all leave your opinions and uh comments in the comment section below i would love to hear from you thank you very much for always listening and watching i will see you all in my next video bye for now